Hey, how you doing? Dennis here, and today we'll be checking out ways to use variables to hide and reveal. Let's get started. For this demo, I've created this sample layout that's fully flexible with auto layout, and I've created this scrim overlay with a modal constrained to the center. Let's set up our overlay first. Select our icon, switch to prototype, set an interaction on click, and open overlay. And select the scrim modal, and let's do a dissolve. Now on our scrim overlay, select the OK button. Let's on click, close overlay. Let's copy that interaction and paste it onto our X up in the top right corner. Let's have a look at that. Nice. Now here's a footnote for later. You can resize the layout, but always remember to resize your scrim layer as well. If you don't, you'll end up with these large gaps on each side. Let's try this another way. Let's create a Boolean variable. Call it scrim and leave it false. Now select your icon, switch to prototype, and on click let's set the variable scrim to true. And on your close overlays, let's set the variable back to false. Now let's select our scrim layer and place it inside our layout. Set it to absolute position and constrain it left, right, and top, bottom. With the constraints, all the layers resize together. Select your scrim layer and apply the scrim variable. Let's try it out. One thing of note here is you do lose the dissolve effect. Plus, now our scrim layer is hidden within our layout, so making changes to the scrim layer is a little more challenging. You would have to break it from the variable, make your changes, and then reconnect it. In this example, let's duplicate the scrim layer, create a component set, let's change property 1 to state, set the first variant to reveal, Set the second to hide, delete the modal, and set the hide variant to zero opacity. Now let's create a string variable, call it scrim variant, and set its value to hide. Select your icon, switch to prototype, and on click, let's set the variable scrim variant to reveal. On our close interactions, let's change it to set variable and set the scrim variant to hide. Drag an instance of our component into our layout, set it to absolute position, and constrain it left, right, and top, bottom. Like before, all the layers are resizing together. Select our scrim layer and set its state to the scrim variant variable. Let's try it out. The advantage of this technique over using a Boolean variable is that we can make changes to the component and those changes will be reflected in the hidden layers. These techniques can be used for a lot of different things beyond just a scrim overlay. So play around with it and see what you can do. And that wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for more lessons real soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.